it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 22nd of August. I'm Michael Groff. Isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible today, but the big story will be warm and very muggy conditions around here. Better chances of rain come in by tomorrow and into Thursday as the remnants of what is Tropical Storm Herald, which is making landfall on the Texas coast this morning, moves to the north and west around the periphery of that big ridge over the nation's midsection and gives us that chance of rain. Yes, two tropical systems influencing our weather in one week, and we might not get very much rain out of either. How about it? All right, we'll talk about all of it. Plus, what about the weather for the weekend and next week? Yeah, we'll dive in and discuss. Here's the almanac from yesterday. 91 degrees the afternoon high. That's the coolest high temperature we've had in Phoenix since June the 12th. That low temperature of 78 with all the thunderstorm activity we had around last night. But unfortunately, as mentioned, Sky Harbor only picked up four hundredths of an inch of rain. If you were west of there, out here in the West Valley where we're at in Studio B here in Avondale, almost nothing. And uh, the East Valley did see some decent rain. So, hey, at least somebody's getting in on the action. 105 and 83 are the average temperatures. Checking outside now here just after 10 o'clock. Some clouds around, just some high clouds. We're at 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it's muggy. Dew point at 65. Humidity 46%. The wind light, the barometer is steady. The upper level weather pattern across the nation. There's that nasty 600 decameter ridge over Missouri. And of course, the nation's heartland is roasting underneath that feature. And we've got high temperatures in the 90s, even above 100 degrees. Those are the air temperatures. You factor in the humidity. Heat index values anywhere from 105 to 115. Now, we're on the periphery of that ridge, and you see that swirl down there over the southern part of Texas. That is Tropical Storm Herald. Or by the time you watch this, it'll just be Tropical Depression or Remnant Tropical Cyclone. And it'll be making its way up the Rio Grande and moving around the edge of that ridge toward us here in the southwest. Here's the watch warning map. There's all those heat advisories and excessive heat warnings from Texas over to Alabama, all the way up to the Dakotas, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And yeah, it's just going to be another very hot day. Tropical storm warnings over parts of South Texas and some flooding conditions possible with that feature here in Maricopa County. An air quality alert is in effect. So you respiratory sufferers might want to limit your outdoor activities at least today and tonight. Here's the convective outlook. We've got a risk of severe storms over parts of the Great Lakes out here in the west and in south Texas. Now, in Arizona, the far northern part of the state might see an isolated severe storm that could produce some gusty winds uh, and then up into Utah. But for the most part, yes, we're in the green, so thunderstorms are possible, but they'll be isolated after last night's storms. Uh, the atmosphere is kind of worked over and we don't see any obvious trigger mechanism for this afternoon or this evening. Nonetheless, an isolated storm is still not out of the question. In the tropics, it's very noisy in the Atlantic here. We've got several systems in various states of development or disarray. Um, you've got what's left of Emily that's just kind of now a remnant low, Gert. We've got Franklin, which will impact the island of Hispaniola, and that'll move north, maybe toward Bermuda in time, and that could intensify into a hurricane. And then there's Harold. At the time we put this graphic together, it was a tropical storm, but that's about to be off the board, at least in terms of tropical cyclones. It'll just be a remnant low. It'll turn into an inverted trough as it moves up the Rio Grande and heads our way over the next 24 to 36 hours. Here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, not much, uh, maybe a tenth of an inch if we're lucky. Uh, anywhere from one half to one inch up north over the eastern mountains of our state. But as I tell you, every time we show you this graphic, your amount will vary because of the nature of thunderstorms. Yeah, maybe your house could see an inch, but. Down the street, a mile or two, absolutely nothing. That's 
especially this year. That's really been uh, the nature of the beast. All right, let's get into the details of this forecast right now. To do that, we'll explore the models. Take a look. This is the GFS. It is the OC, It's the 12Z run, rather, and this is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Big old 597 to 600 decameter ridge over the nation's heartland. It's hot there. We've got a little trough, a little upper low off the Pacific Northwest coast. More of a southerly flow for us today and what it means down at the surface. A few clouds around, otherwise mostly sunny. Isolated showers and thunderstorms mainly over the higher terrain and across northern and northwest Arizona today. High temperatures, upper 90s to around 102 or so. And yes, it will be muggy. Chance of rain in Phoenix today is technically not zero. We haven't put it into the forecast. It's really less than 10%. Uh, but I guess somebody, someplace, might see an isolated storm. Same thing for tonight. An isolated storm possible. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy with overnight lows, upper 70s to mid 80s. Tomorrow, uh, mostly sunny in the morning, partly sunny by the afternoon. And increasing chances of showers and storms as that inverted trough makes its way our direction. Moisture really starting to increase. So scattered to numerous showers and storms over the mountains. Widely scattered to scattered storms developing by late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night over the south central deserts. High temperatures tomorrow. And this is going to be a tricky forecast. I still think we're probably going to make it to around 100 degrees, maybe a little bit warmer than that. But if we get more clouds sooner in the day, that might hold temperatures down just a bit. But it will continue to be rather muggy. Tomorrow night's probably our best chance of rain. And we'll put rain chances up into the 40 to 50 percent bracket. And then on Thursday, decent chance of showers and storms in the morning. They'll be decreasing by the afternoon. High temperatures. Again, a tricky forecast. Uh, we could be right around 100 degrees, give or take a couple of degrees. Uh, if the storms linger through the morning hours, obviously we'd be a little bit lower than that. Now, by Friday, things are going to start to dry out here at least a bit as high pressure over the nation's midsection shifts further to the west. And so conditions will begin to dry out. We'll still see some isolated storms over the higher terrain, though. High temperatures on Friday. Yeah, warming back to around 104 to 108. Saturday, we're pretty close to 110. And above that, 109, maybe to 113 by Sunday, Monday, um, with isolated mountain convection continuing. Now, Monday, the GFS, at least on this run, shows slightly better moisture seeping back into the state for widely scattered showers and storms and maybe even a few storms trying to get into the south central deserts. That remains to be seen. Uh, at the moment, we have Monday dry and just hot, but... Um, Maybe we'll have to reintroduce a small chance of storms Monday evening. Here's a week from today, Tuesday the 29th, and high pressure is still around. Got a little upper low over the Pacific Northwest, and that looks mainly dry, although isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible here, and high temperatures would still be above average, likely around 110 degrees. Going out 10 days, this is Thursday the 31st of August, and now we've got uh, a trough, a little baggy low there off the uh, California coast and got this ridge to the east and an inverted trough maybe swinging around that. So better chances of showers and storms would be in here if that verifies. But uh, of course, at 10 days out, that's pretty much in the realm of fantasy and things are likely to change between now and then. We'll just keep an eye on model trends. Checking out rainfall for Phoenix out through the 4th of September off the GFS ensemble to mean about a half an inch. Individual members a little bit higher than that, though. And temperatures off the national blend of models. It's going to get hot by late this week, this weekend, and even into next week. And then temperatures will tail off a bit thereafter as moisture levels are likely to increase once more. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. Support us monetarily on YouTube if you can. And, of course, we'll be back with live videos here pretty soon with all the super chats and all that. But click that little thanks button there on YouTube. That would uh, really help us out. And the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org. And the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle, so check her out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Tuesday.